Well, today's post, guys, is on online marketing. This is Chef Katrina with the ChefKatrina.com, and I want to talk to you guys today. What is hashtag? This was a conversation that came up the other day. People are like, I don't understand hashtag. How is it used, and can it be a benefit to building your business? So I've grabbed the four top websites, and I've kind of went on there and said, all right, let's see what a hashtag can actually do for your business and your opportunity. So here we go. Let's start with our home place. Let's start with Twitter. Now, what is Twitter? Twitter, we know, is a microblog. Everything is very short, sweet, and to the point, 140 characters, and you're ready to rock. So how does the hashtag get used in Twitter? Well, the hashtag allows you to discover topics or conversations that are taking place anywhere around the world. Do you have a favorite TV show and you've always been kind of like, mm, wonder what's going on with that TV show? Or we see it in the news all the time. So I'm a fan of The Voice. So I was curious about what is going on with The Voice. So if I do hashtag voice, well, let's do hashtag The Voice and see what we get there. So hashtag the voice. So basically what we're looking at is what was going on with the voice. So this just allows me to pull anything on the voice, any conversations, any type of topics, any type of fun things that were going on. Now this is a curation of anything that was talked about by just the voice. You can do this for other social topics. You can do this for home-based businesses. So you can look like home-based. I can do home business. You can do it for that one. So to people that anybody that's talking about a home business, this is also in here. So the idea is that the hashtag allows you to get together all the information that is taking place at any given time to find out about it. So this is a great and powerful tool to be using because it also allows you to get access to people that you normally wouldn't have access to and also get introduced to people that are already in your following that are talking about that conversation also. So don't be afraid to go ahead and use hashtags in here because like I said, it's a curation on Twitter. So how did this fall over into Facebook? So we know on Facebook all of a sudden that you can start using hashtags. Well, they have what they call a clickable hashtag. So if you're doing hashtag, um, let's see, hashtag, let's find home business. And we do hashtag home business. We can explore more hashtags. I can either say something about it or I can go out and find more hashtags about this. But what this really allows you to do is that if you do write content with a hashtag in there, and anyone follows on that comment or information, then you actually, so you can actually search the web for it also. So even on here, you can search the web, uh, find pages that are named. So this really allows the curation again of content across the web. So who's talking about home businesses? What's going on there? It kind of puts it all right here at your fingertips. Okay. So even using this on Facebook, is a very genuine tool because you can basically search anything and everything about that topic. So if you're in a specific home-based business or an industry and you want to find out about more about it, so let's look at travel. That's not what I wanted. I want the hashtag travel. I want to go to hashtag travel and I want to see what was related so here we go we've got travel going on here so the people that are talking about travel so if you're in this industry how cool is this you're finding other people you can connect with other businesses find out if anybody's actually looking to travel anywhere so a great tool to use on Facebook is basically the curation of the hashtag here also now the other really interesting thing I'm starting to see is that Google has taken over the hashtag by craze. And if you think about it, Google is, or G+, plus, or Google+, plus is Google. So how important is it for you to be talking about hashtags on your post? So whatever you're posting on your Google+, plus, don't be afraid to use the hashtags. Again, it's a curation. Actually, I'm going to do this one. This is my favorite online marketing. So now I'm looking for anybody 
and anybody sharing the hashtag marketing, online marketing. And now if I'm looking for information, I'm looking for for uh, topics or I'm stuck and I want to do some research, I can now search by hashtags, which is a great way to find information out. So if you want to be found on the internet, using a hashtag for your business is something you really want to take a look at. And even as we talk about the infamous Pinterest, here's what I did. I went over here and I put in hashtag online marketing. And it shows all pins pertaining to anybody and everything talking about online marketing. So even with Pinterest, it's crucial that you're putting your hashtags on there. Now, if you guys didn't know, I'm going to show you guys a quick trick. This is my insider secret. There is a website called hashtags.org. And you can actually find out if you can create your own hashtag, add your own hashtag definition. So if there, you think there's a hashtag out there, you start using a hashtag to build your business, you can add a hashtag definition to something that's out here. So you can type in your hashtag, find out more about it. This is free. You can also learn more about hashtag chats, which is having conversations with individuals based on the hashtag that you're using for your business or product or service. So hashtags, guys, is a very, very powerful tool, and I recommend you use it. Again, we always see the people that overuse it, overspam it, whatever. It happens, but if you're using it the right way, you'll be able to build your business, create a following, and people will know how to find you and the product you're selling. So that's it I have for you guys today. That's my quick overview of how powerful the hashtag and really how it's integrating across all social media and how you really want to make sure you're using them so that you can be found in the search engines and that your product, service, or opportunity is being found by the right people. Again, guys, thank you for joining me. My name is Chef Katrina. Visit me at www.thechefkatrina.com. I look forward to seeing and, com and hearing your comments here on today's blog post. Have a great day.